Griffin Dahlberg here at Twin Cities Peppers. Today I got a little short video for you. Um, it's regarding praying mantis. Some of you guys uh, probably wonder where I get my praying mantis and why I have them in my garden. And uh, I'm just going to kind of go through what I do with them and how I put them out and when I put them out. And uh, their benefits. So, first off, praying mantis come in many different uh, shapes and sizes. I get the Chinese mantis as well as the Carolina mantis. Those are my favorite ones. I like to have these things in the garden. They protect against aphids and thrips while they're young and then they'll start feeding on um, army worms or uh, you know white flies, all that different stuff. So they really help in the garden and they're also really cool to look at and fun to go check out uh, every day. So that's what I enjoy about them. I get my mantis eggs on Amazon from Nature's Good Guys. This was a 10 pack of the Chinese. And then I got two five packs of the Carolina. This company is really good. I've had really good success with them in the past. I've had ladybugs from them. I've had um, green lacewing eggs, all that kind of stuff. And none of them have uh, came damaged or dead. Everything's been alive. All my eggs have hatched from them. Um, you can see here, these are all my eggs. So, I accidentally had double what I wanted in my cart on Amazon, I didn't check, showed up and I was very surprised by how many I had and turned out to be a mistake. So I just decided to keep them, whatever, uh, the, the more the merrier for me. Uh, honestly, one of these eggs will do almost a thousand square feet, so I went way overboard, but whatever, I'm just going to really spread them out in my yard and maybe sneak a couple in. My neighbor's yard, you never know. Okay, so what I've done here, I have these little um, bamboo parts uh, from, you know, cut for bamboo, but they go in my mason beehive. These were last year's, so I just decided to use these. They have a hole on the bottom, and I'm able to go down in a bush or something and stick this on a stick. You don't want to have these out in the open too much because birds or squirrels or all that stuff will kind of mess with them and eat them. So had that happen in the past and I learned from my mistake. So let's just uh, start you guys off on the right foot. And um, when I go out there, I'll kind of show you where I put them. But anyways, so we have two types. This would be the Carolina Mantis. And here is the Chinese Mantis. And if you guys look carefully, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but you can see each line. So the mantis will um, secrete a foamy substance from her abdomen, layer after layer after layer after layer after layer. You can kind of see each layer. The layers will sag down like that, and that's how you know it's in the correct orientation. When you see the, the layers um, kind of swooping down into like a U shape, that means um, she was working her way up this way. So that would be the correct orientation. I've never really plant, uh, had one like this, but they usually fall out here um, in like a string thing and then they'll, they'll fall to the ground. But I've never actually had one hatch like this. I've never tried it. Um, I'm sure it might hatch, but it might cause some issues too. So um, this would be the Chinese mantis. And then again, this is the Carolina mantis. This one's a little bit harder to tell orientation. Um, But yeah, if you look closely, you can see the drooping uh, from gravity of that frothy s substance. So you can, can kind of uh, judge what orientation to put it in. So I ran out of these things. Um, but you can also use like a stake from your garden. Uh, bamboo stakes work great. You cut them right above the closed sections. There's a bunch of closed sections going down the bamboo. Um, and you cut it right above that, and then you'll have a nice hole to put onto a stick or something. So I used a uh, super glue, just a, no, not super glue, um, hot glue, just a small dab um, on the stick, and then you just put the uh, back of the um, egg onto the stick. You can see in this one, the mantis actually laid it on a stick, so it came with this stick. Um, and this is an easy way to tell orientation because you could see the branches coming off that stick. So um, this is how they do it in nature. So this is kind of how I figured I'd do it. You want them off the ground, but uh, 
They take about two to four weeks to hatch, typically, some earlier, some later, but I usually have about 90% hatch rate, and um, not all of them survive, obviously. Some of them, the bigger ones, will eat the smaller ones, but, you know, let it do its thing, and you'll have some big ones by the end of the summer. So let's go outside and place some of these around. I'll show you how I do it, and then uh, we can wrap up this video. So these are what I used from my mason beehive. You can see it's the same thing. The mason bees actually lay their eggs in this and then uh, cap it off and their larva will hatch next year. There's a mason bee doing his thing. So this is uh, my other garden, flower garden, and I like to put a few in here. Um, they seem to do really well on this. There's a lot of uh, good bugs for them to eat. Uh, I'm just gonna go down and find a uh, find a small stick. Um, the lower, the better, really. Actually, this one looks good right here. So I'm just gonna take the bottom of this and place it over this stick. And uh, make sure it's nice and covered up. So, there we go. Give it two to four weeks, and those things should be hatched. So, I also really like to put these in my pepper garden. Uh, I just planted out yesterday, so very exciting. Um, I will go to something that's a little bit lower. And this is where the, the two picks I put together work really well. Uh, I'm just gonna poke that down in there. Again, make sure it's kind of covered up. Sheltered from, from the sun. That's where I'm gonna put it right there. And uh, again, two to four weeks should be hatched. But yeah, guys, that's how I do my praying mantises. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer those. And uh, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.